Alright, hello, it's Evernoob, uh, again, I gotta get better at that intro, but anyway, here's a region battle I had against my friend, pitting, you know, Kanto, or not Kanto, Kanto, no, it's, it is Kanto, versus Shino, and it's not Sino, it's Shino, yes, his favorite region versus my favorite region, using the Killer Nachos, um, region wars rules, I don't know why he wanted to do this, but, um, Whatever, yeah, so, um, we actually had two battles, okay, so, one, he beat me, it was like 5-0, and it was terrible, second one, I beat him, he's gonna record the 5-0 sweep, I'm gonna record the 2-0, me winning, and then we're gonna, and the description will be in the sidebar, and I, of course the description is gonna be in the sidebar, but, um, basically, you get to watch his side, or well, his battle, where he won. You get to watch my battle, where I won. Basically, my team was better made, his wasn't. Um, he's seen me use a lot of these guys before, so he's expecting different sets. But, you know, I still, I won, because pro. And he didn't, because of, well, he did win. And I won. And stuff. We didn't really prove anything with this battle, but it was fun. So let's go. Okay, so here we go. He starts off with Inferno, and I started off with my Sash Venusaur. Look, I know Contro Pokes are just overall less stacked and slower than the Shino Pokes, but they pack a lot more power, so I scarfed it. And, yeah, I, I did put Sleep Powder on a Scarf Venusaur. Perhaps not the best idea I've ever had, but it got that ape sleeping. And him with his bad habit of leaving sleepers in, leaves it. Well, he actually wakes up and then just wipes out Gengar. I'm like, no, you just killed one of my favorite Kanto con pokes. So, I'm not very pleased with this, but... Oh, actually, he didn't kill me. Forgot. And this battle was like a couple minutes ago, too, and everything else. So, I Destiny Bond and get some rocks up. So I'm like, no, Charizard screwed over it. And he knows it. He's probably laughing, because he is expecting Bellyzard. And do I carry Bellyzard? Don't close the video, because that way you get to find out. <laughs> so, I keep Destiny Bonding, because I'm not carrying Sludge Bomb or Psychic. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to kill it with anything else. So, I Kamikaze with it. Yes, it make dies. So I go to Hitmonlee to spin away those freaking rocks. And here, he, he makes his first TP play. I Rapid Spin him, and he tries to T-Wave me. Like, I knew this T-Wave was coming, but I knew I had Limber, and I knew he would forget. Because he didn't forget in our last battle. So I just Stone Edge him, thinking, yeah, I don't really need Hitmonlee to be the rest of his team, because of some other stuff, and he Psychics me to death. Honestly, the only reason I brought Hitmonlee was because of its decent attack power, in case he, he brought something like, um, Heatran, which I didn't think it was gonna bring, and... I didn't even know if he had it, I didn't even get to see his whole team in the last match. But, I bring in Venusaur and Leaf Storm it, and not sleeping it like a smart person, because of some stupid idea that I had, and he two-ways me, so I'm like, okay, now he's got to Psychic me, because that's what, it's stabbed and super effective, he'd be stupid if he didn't. So, I'm gonna retreat to, to Lucius, my, um, Cleric Knight, and he's gonna Psychic me. Pachai kick me. Pachai kick me. And I'm gonna survive it. With. You know, I'm gonna take it by. Yeah, I just shrug it off. That was nothing, man. <laughs> and right now, he's. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna D dance. He's gonna T wave me. But he's not expecting the heal bell. The heal bell is just gonna throw the entire. Like. Sway of this battle. I mean, seriously, that heal bell. If not, I would not be able to do this mess with So he psychics me again, expecting me to switch out. But, I I get parahaxed. So I'm like, no, there's my luck coming at me again. Because it was a lot of luck, based on the last battle. And if you click the link in the description, you'll be able to see why. So now he's pretty determined that I'm not going to switch out. And he ice beams me. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. Pokemon, 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 and he lives! Yay! And I get the heal bell. So, I'm like safe again, and I know that I'm not going to be able to kill him with a Dragon Claw, which is why this set honestly should pack Outrage, but is better that it just 
packs regular Dragon Claw, I guess. Outrage will be better, and if I ever use the set again, I kind of like it. I switch out. I switch it out. But he psychics me again, thinking I'm gonna switch out, not realizing that if I did, I wouldn't survive the switch. Him. Oh wait, no, his rocks are gone. That's right. Well, I forgot the rocks are gone, but I do get the second Dragon Claw, and I kill it because bulky because bulky knight is cleric knight. Bulky cleric knight kicks ass. So here comes in Porygon Z, and I'm like, I have a DD up. I have almost nothing invested in speed, but I think I'll outspeed it. But it turns out I don't. So I, now I don't know. This is a very common scarf Porygon Z. I mean, Porygon Z isn't common, but the scarf just given. I mean, who wouldn't carry the scarf? So you try attacks, and I know Venusaur can survive it because I built it with this mass massive amount of special defense but he burns me I'm like no I could use the heal bell then but I do get the sleep off on it and this is where my luck finally turns around and I'm somehow able to beat him although if you want to compare lux that burn to a lot of other stuff to um that para hacks earlier if that para hacks didn't go on I probably would have killed his Vesper without losing my Dragonite I got another dance up and I'd be able to hit this Porygon Z pretty hard but luckily, I, he slept so I could get the, the DD up, and the SD up, and um, he slept again so I could flare blitz him through that, because while he was expecting Belly Zard, I brought SD Zard, who is considerably, he's not quite as powerful, but considerably more, well, e considerably easier to set up. So here comes in Empoleon, and I thought about it for a while, but then I realized that while I also have Thunder Punch, Thunder Punch isn't going to do as much damage as Flare Blitz. So I just take advantage of my now massive attack stat and fire and Flare Blitz him. So he dies. And, you know, that's pretty cool. This set also needs work, but it's a pretty cool set. So he sends in Yakutori, Yaku 